Morning everybody. Super bright and early on Tuesday, July the 5th. I gotta take the car in and drop it off for a windshield replace. Gotta check on the truck that's getting the uh, engine looked at. And I got a bunch of meetings and uh, emails to claw through today. So it's gonna be a busy one. Let's go see what it looks like to replace a Tesla windshield too. First mission of the day, get this thing replaced. So here's how bad it's gotten. That was the first one. We got a little dent right there which took it all the way across. And then this was a really big meteor hit that shattered both, uh, or it spidered both on the inside and the outside. All the cars in, um, they tell me it's gonna be about three hours. So I'm gonna go uh, grab a bite to eat. I've got uh, a meeting downtown and come back here to pick up the car and then uh, back downtown and then back home office uh, for some emails. So gonna go get uh, get some stuff done. You know, it's really interesting living in Alberta. Typically, uh, it's usually about every two years that you have to replace a windshield on a vehicle and that's kind of what it's been like for this car. Uh, we made it uh, a year and a half now, just about. And uh, here we are replacing the windshield. So, uh, sucks. We get serious winters here, so it's hard on windshields. Heading back to check out on the car. Oh, look at that. Oh, shiny new. Wow, looks nice. So uh, a few people had asked about a video on the windshield change and they wouldn't let me back there. I just have kind of the before and after. Check this out. So I think you can see that right there. There's a, a heat tracer line that they've added to the camera. And I thought initially that these lines going around the windshield were heat tracers too. Where is that? Uh, there we go. Right, right there. It looks like a, uh, a heat tracer line, but it's not. It's just a, it's like a pinstriping line, just for added effect. And the one thing I noticed is, I can't remember if our old old uh, windshield was tinted or not. This one is not. It feels like I see more sky, which is really nice. Hopefully this bad boy lasts uh, more than more than two years. That's uh, the plan. Three years is what we're shooting for. Well, just hanging out downtown Calgary. Got uh, my meetings done, and I am heading back to my home office. And uh, looks like I'm about 45 minutes away based on rush hour traffic. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we've decided we're gonna go see if we can find some kayaks, but uh, before we get kayaks, I gotta get the uh, propane bottle out of the uh, Golden Boy, the trailer, because we used up one entire propane bottle. So I gotta get that topped up. And uh, we gotta get some stuff from inside. Then we're going kayak hunting. All right, Ethan and I are at Canadian Tire. This is for you, Clint. We're thinking we need to get one of these for our next trip to Lac St. Anne. Look at that. We could uh, call it a hot tub and put four adults in there. Easy. So we went kayak shopping with our car. We got one. Now the question is, is it gonna fit? The moment of truth. Okay, don't hit that other vehicle, Ethan. Come in. Maybe move the paddles off. Paddles off. You got this? No. You got it. Oh. Lay it flat, though. I know, I know. Just watch it off of this 
Huh. It does not fit. It doesn't fit. Can move, lean down mine. Um, you know, we can move your books and stuff and we can push it up between the seats. It'll fit. So it appears to have fit along with our propane bottle. Dun dun dun! That is a good truck. Perfect fit, like a glove. Could be the Mike and Ethan Moving Company. Room for one kayak. Now we could have strapped it to the top, but then we would have needed rope and cables and this is cooler. Yeah, now we have companion. Okay, we gotta drop this one off and then we'll come get another one at the other store because these guys only had one sadly so we'll be going to the other canadian tire to pick up kayak number two i have a new canoe hunter kayak hunter with right. me ethan stayed home tammy's with me to get kayak number two right well our kayak hunting mission was a success we have uh two kayaks two adult ones and uh, they are joining our previous kayaks right here these are two kids ones so they're only rated to about uh I think 95 pounds, 100 pounds, whereas these other ones are rated to 225. So now all four kids can go at once, or Tammy and I can go on a nice romantic kayak ride. So movie time tonight, and then uh, kids are off to bed. I think that might be a wrap for today. Mm -hmm.